So today we're going to talk about the Stresso Mini Espresso Makers. I don't actually have a British accent, I just figured perhaps starting a video like this would be more enjoyable, because who doesn't love a British accent? Actually, I sound like this. Today we're talking about the Stresso Mini Espresso Makers. Let's get into it. Duresso was gracious enough to send me both of these uh, portable mini espresso machines to discuss and review and talk to you about. This is the former version, and this is the newest upgraded 2022 version of the machine. Both of these brewers have similar form factors. They both weigh about the same. Each of the portafilter baskets holds 10 grams of espresso, and your water reservoir can hold up to 80 mils to brew anything from two to one or even a one to one ratio or all the way up to your eight to one more of a espresso style cup. So each machine comes with several parts. It comes with this great little built-in stainless steel lined espresso cup. Both the past and the previous versions are lined with stainless steel, unlike um, other competitors uh, that are just simply plastic. This really does a great job at insulating your cup, keeping it cleaner, healthier, uh, then it comes with this great little sleeve that comes around the side. And what this does is sets up like this and locks down to allow for the brewing process that I'll show you in just a minute. We're going to take off the top and that just screws off. And here is your water reservoir and your brewing piston. Because you just turn it like this and it pops out. Uh, the one thing I love about this brewer versus other competitors is that instead of holding it kind of awkwardly to the side, pressing in and trying to hold it steady over your cup, uh, it simply presses down like this. And then you have the bottom section here that just twists off. Uh, the newest upgraded version, you'll see there is a flat section and that is where your water comes from. This one uses a particular little adapter that kind of holds the pod and also has these little tines on the inside versus the old version that has a puncture piece here in the center kind of built in. It does get in the way a little bit of even extraction from your, your tiny little coffee puck. So I do really appreciate the upgrade in that respect. And then in here, we have the pressurized filter basket and it all comes apart. One of the things I love about this brand, you're seeing a lot of pieces, right? There are a lot of parts and pieces to this brewer, but that's actually an upside for me personally. Yes, it is a little bit more cumbersome, but I actually kind of like it because I know that I can pull this apart at any time and give it a really good solid clean. So inside this piece, there's a spring mechanism. When the water pressure gets up to pressure, it will release and allow you to brew that beautiful shot of espresso with the crema. Each one of these brewers comes with the little dosing scoop. The only complaint I have with this scoop is that it doesn't fit in the brewer itself. In other competitors, uh, you can find the scoop easily fitting into that water reservoir. Unfortunately, I can't keep this in here because of the brewing piston there. There is no room to fit it in there. If you do plan on using this out and about, you will just have to take the scoop separately from the rest of the device. With each of these brewers, the old one and the new one, they both come with this incredible little carry case that has a little towel that helps keep your brewer clean and protected, even in the, the protective case. Uh, it also comes with a little brush to help clean out some of the grounds and extra O-rings for the brewing mechanism. Um, the very bottom of that piston has some of the O-rings and it's very nice of them to include extra ones just in case you lose them. Let me show you how to properly prepare the brewer for brewing espresso, and then we will brew these both simultaneously side by side to show you speed of brewing and uh, extraction. I, I did just notice that the newer version of this with the pressurized filter does sit really nicely and snugly inside uh, this little bottom section here. The older version here kind of sits up high and, and kind of rattles around and when I tipped it over it just fell out like this. So I really appreciate that little bit of attention to detail. I am brewing a uh, delightful Ethiopian Yurgachev ground to nearly espresso fine and we are going to fill up each one of these. I've removed the basket 
It's about 10 grams per scoop. Set that off to the side. And then I would recommend going ahead and screwing this back on, making sure they're nice and tight. I've got some water here, heated up to about 198 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up both of these to about 55, maybe 60 milliliters. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace this and make sure it's screwed on nice and tight on both of these. All you do is press down, rotate a quarter or half turn, and that little piston's gonna pop right up. And we're gonna place this on top of our uh, integrated cup here. Done the same with this one as well. Place them on top like this. There's one, there's two. Now I am noticing it took significantly longer to build up that pressure in the newer model, but I'm noticing that the flow is actually lesser as well, which really does help brew a delightful cup of espresso. Kind of that long pull versus just kind of jamming the water through uh, in the older model. I'm really, really happy with how that's looking. Okay, and I think it's done. There's good extraction in both, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that the flavor is going to be better in this newer brewer because of the longer extraction period. But let's give these a quick taste. So here's the old one. Here is the newer version of the brewer. And just like I suspected, the flavors are absolutely phenomenal here versus kind of round and mellow and flat in the old brewer absolutely wonderful i'm i'm floored i really am I, I wasn't fully sure if there would be a whole lot of difference between the two with the pressurized sort of filter versus kind of that pressure release filter in the old model there there is a world of difference between these two shots for quality of espresso the upgraded version is by far uh, a, a win today if you have any questions drop them down in the comments be happy to talk through this brewer specifically a big thank you to stresso for sending these to me again if you want to check out more about the brand and, and the many products that they sell outside of just this one check them down below in the caption i will have a link to their instagram account as well and i can't wait to see you in the next video Bye bye